What I'm going to be showing, guys, is my controller settings because, as some of you may know, drink to a sunny day. Yo, what is going on, guys, and welcome back to another video. So, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep this intro very, very short. But basically, what I'm going to be showing, guys, is my controller settings because, as some of you may know, recently I have switched not only controllers but also controller settings. And my skill level has gone from here to here. So guys, as you may or may not know, I did recently switch to the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller, which has given me access to quite a lot of things, but mainly, obviously, the paddles on the back. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you every single setting that I use on my controller. That is my bind, my sensitivity, literally everything. And I'm also going to do my best to explain it all to you guys, so you obviously understand what I'm talking about in the video, because um, if I didn't, well, it would be a little bit confusing. So yeah, before we do get into this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. If you don't like the video in the next five seconds, then absolutely nothing's going to happen, but please leave a like. So yeah, guys, comment down below if any of these settings do help you out in any way and apart from that i'll see you guys inside of the video okay so we're in a creative right now and as you guys can see i've prepared like a little area where i'm basically going to be showing you guys my settings obviously and then showing off basically what my settings allow me to do because as i told you guys i have changed my settings drastically over the past like month or so so let's go into the settings first and then i'll basically get on to demonstrating everything in just a second but okay so let's start off with these settings like the game settings here so basically all of these are like not as important as the controller settings but i know a lot of you guys are going to be interested anyway so i'm only going to go over a few quick ones right here like all these ones over here are just kind of preference things but down here at the building thing you will see something which i have on which has just made me so much better at the game and that is confirm edit on release now ladies and gentlemen if you do not know what this is you're missing out basically okay so if you are one of those people that use a single edit bind which means you edit confirm with the same buttons then this setting is for you because if you use a double bind which means you edit and then confirm with like two different buttons then basically then basically this setting isn't really much different but ladies and gentlemen confirm edit on release ever since i've used this at first i thought this setting sucked i was like why would anyone want to use confirm edit on release but ladies and gentlemen all right this setting has made me so much better at the game and i'll show you guys in a little bit why it is so much better and i got actually you know what i'll show you guys what it is right now so basically if you don't know what confirm edit on release is so say i have an edit right here all i'm gonna have to do is do an edit and it will automatically confirm it so i'm just gonna put a window right here all i'm actually gonna do is select it ready boom it confirms the edit on release like it basically says but then the only different thing is if i have an edit and i want to reset it if i click reset you guys will see it doesn't confirm i actually have to click the confirm button again for it to actually reset the build so ladies and gentlemen this is so good for someone like me because i just love being able to get super speedy like as you can see here if i do an edit real quick like i'm, I'm holding rt right now I let go of rt and boom so all i have to do is i can edit so quick and so fluently like, as you guys can see right now like everything just feels so much more smoother it did take me a little bit while to get used to honestly but when i got used to this setting it was insane so guys if you haven't tried this out i mean if you've tried it out then fair enough but if you haven't tried this out and you feel like you want to give it a go give it a go it's not going to hurt to just give it a little trial but it's just so nice you get so much quick with your edits and if you learn this and you get good with it you, you'll thank me because it's a pretty good setting okay so for game i'm pretty sure that's really what we need to go over like i'm pretty sure all of this is just to do a preference but let's dive in to the more interesting stuff here the controller options so guys controller auto run i have off build immediately i have on obviously edit whole time all the way down to the bottom vibration i play with it on now down into this stuff my build mode and edit mode is both 1.5 i might in the future turn it up but for now i'm really really liking having it around this then i have advanced options on then down here my my horizontal and vertical look sensitivity is 60 both of them in 60 i know a lot of people play with one lower than the other but for some reason i've just kind of stuck with this my turning horizontal and vertical are both 18 percent turning boost ramp time is 0.20 seconds instant boost when building is on ads look horizontal and vertical i recently did change i used to play with a 10 percent ads okay now that sounds crazy because it's so low like i literally can't use snipers because of it but at the end of the day with this sensitivity my my ar aim is pretty good so i play with 15 percent on both of them i recently changed up a bit by like five percent so yeah i do play with quite a low ads maybe i'll turn up in the future it depends it, it just depends but then ads turning horizontal and vertical i both have at zero percent not 100 percent sure what these do ads turning boost ramp time is 0.20 seconds look dampening time is 0.20 seconds now here is where it gets interesting i actually play linear now i know a lot of people say linear actually make your aim assist better and uh yeah yeah, it does. No, I'm just joking, but seriously, I actually don't know if this really affects anything to do with aim assist. Maybe it does. Maybe we'll have to dive in a video of that in the future to test it. But yes, I do play linear. My aim assist strength is, uh... It's obviously 100%, you know. Um, I don't use legacy settings, and my dead zone for both of my sticks is 24% on this one, 27%. I'm pretty sure this just depends on, basically, your own controller, so um, make sure this is custom to yourself. Enable foot controller is off, foot dead zone is 1%, and I don't really know what this does. As you guys may know, I play with an Elite Series 2 controller, which basically has the paddles on the back, and you may know this, but I use my left paddle for edit. So, down there where it says my right D-pad is edit, it really isn't. It's actually just my paddle, so um, one thing 
thing I want to know is, guys, comment down below. Like, please comment down below what your edit bind is. I want to know if any of you guys have, like, a really weird edit bind, which I've never heard of before or seen before. So, please comment that down below. And also comment down below if any of these settings you are going to use. And let me know if you're going to use edit. Let me know if you're going to use edit, confirm, and release. I want to know if I make any of you guys switch to that. So, yeah, I do have some custom binds set up. My edit is obviously down here. It's actually the back left paddle. My switch mode is B. I kind of kept that the same. Um, I also use edit, confirm, and release. So, I don't actually have... Um... So, my confirm button is also my back left paddle for when I want to reset edit. So yeah, basically that is everything guys. Ba I use very, very normal settings apart from a paddle edit. I'm pretty sure that's all I use. My right paddle is actually bound to like X so I can reload and interact, but I don't really use the right paddle that much. I usually just click X. I kind of do play claw, but I don't at the same time. Like I use claw when like I'm in a bit of like a build battle. Like I always, you know, use my index finger to jump if I'm in a build fight or something like that. But if I'm just strolling around the map, just kind of jumping normally, I'll just use like my thumb and just click A. So now I'm basically just going to demonstrate what s some of my settings do. So as I said, confirm edit on release allows me to just edit so quick. Maybe in the future I'll change, but for now, guys, these are going to be my settings for quite a while, because as you guys know, I've only recently changed these settings within, like, the last month or so. But yeah, let's do, like, a little high ground retake or something right now, just to show you guys that these settings are actually pretty nice. Uh Okay, guys, so they are all my settings in Fortnite, basically. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what video would this be? What settings video would this be if I didn't show you guys a victory royale with these settings? All right, guys, so first game, I'm going to try and get a win for you guys. So hopefully you did enjoy all my settings. They are basically all the settings I use, all the binds I use. If you guys do go on to use any of those binds, please let me know down below in the comments. It would really, really mean a lot. Let's try and go in a game, and let's get a victory royale with these settings. So, guys, let's go. Okay, so pretty much the plan is to go into this game and try and get, you know, the victory royale with, obviously, my settings or the settings. I showed you guys earlier on in the video, but we are gonna go and land Lazy Lake, maybe? Yeah, let's go Lazy Lake. Why not? I kind of like it there. I'm pretty sure we got a good landing. Is anyone else landing here? I think there's like a guy over there I can see. Is he landing here with me? I don't know if that guy over there is landing there with me, but who at the end? Oh, yeah, he is. He's definitely landing here with me. He's going to that yellow house there. Okay. All right, we got a shotgun finally. Guys, I want you to comment down below. Have any of my settings in today's video helped you out even a little bit? Even if you're not gonna fully switch to the same settings, which I'm sure a lot of you guys might not actually do that. But even if you use like one of my settings, maybe like if you didn't use edit confirm on release and now you do use it after watching this video let me know down below in the comments i'm interested to know i can see his head all right we're just gonna push him no oh i've just been outplayed if i make it he might push me come on push me i think we still got hope to do this if he just comes onto the side of my box that was a good that was a good idea from him but it didn't work Yes! I don't know how we survived that, but it shouldn't we shouldn't have survived that. <laughs> Alright, I think we played that quite well. Popping the make kit was literally the best thing we could have done. Unfortunately, we did run out of materials there, but I reckon like we did as good as we could have. Uh, you know, obviously we could have done better thinking about it, but you know, it doesn't matter. Alright, get this slurp fish, guys. This game just went from being like a decent game to literally insane. Alright, I I'm I look at the loot. Alright, look at the loot. The only thing we need to do now is farm materials and we should get this win. This has got to be a victory royale, all right? This has got to be it. So yeah, that's another thing you need to comment down below, guys. What do you edit with? I want to see if any of you guys edit with something really unusual, something that I've never seen before. Like, if someone edits with, like, I don't know. I, I don't really know an uncommon one, but if you guys want to comment down below. Actually, PS4 have, like, that little button in the middle of the controller, so they, I mean, a lot of people edit with that. But yeah, I just want to know if any of you guys have, like, a weird edit button, so please comment down below what you guys edit with. I just want to, like, know if anyone edits with something, like, I've never seen before. All right, we just got to farm up and hopefully win this game. There's only 17 people left in the first zone. Has closed in and the second one is going to be closing at any moment. So there's also two mushrooms over there, which is exactly what I need if I want to get 100, 100. How has no one found this llama yet? Did someone know, did no one land at Slurpy? Oh, there's a guy rushing me right now. He's so weak. I just hit him for 19, no shield. Okay, so there's two people over there. Oh my God. Wait, where is this guy? He's miles away. Wait, why is... Wait, what happened here then? Everything I've ever wanted. Okay, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that as well. He has got an RPG, which is a little bit of an advantage, but... We got... We got a code on him. Yeah, hey, let's...
Let's go, guys. We got the win. It's a two kill win, but you know, it doesn't matter. Oh, I can't even edit. But guys, let's go, guys. At least we got the win, like I said I would. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, a thumbs up would really, really be appreciated. Also, make sure you subscribe with your post notifications turned on. Also, as I said, make sure you comment down below what settings you actually took from this video or if you copied all of the settings. So yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, as I said, smash the thumbs up, subscribe, and guys, I'll see you all in the next video very, very soon. Have a great day, guys, and peace.